welcome to another episode of JD and the Sub C. Thank you so much for coming back. Take a look here. This is going to be our third painting. Um, at this point, I'm blocking up the colors for um, the rest of the pieces I'm going to be gluing, getting everybody ready for oils. Um, you know, uh, yeah, okay, so here we're using the uh, um, Bestial Brown and Saigor, Saigor Brown uh, contrast paint mix. Um, once again, I'm using the uh, using the the, uh, the bigger airbrush again. Um, trying to get a little bit more control with this, a little more trigger control. Um, lots of, well, you know, I do a lot of this stuff and, you know, I always like to challenge myself with different practicing. Right now I'm using a uh, 0.05 needle um, just so I can get some better trigger, trigger control. Um, yeah, so... Here's the uh, the yellow that I used on the other panels. Once again, just trying to match up what we got going on. There was my arm, some bad uh, <laughs> bad videoing again. Sorry, guys. I am getting or I am working on this. Uh, we're just about ready to actually get cameras um, and microphones, which might make all of this easier. Or yeah. We'll see, might not. <laughs> At this point, I think it will. So yeah, here we are, yellowing. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I wanted to say, you know, thanks so much you guys for, uh, for watching. Okay, so here we go. Um, we got the purple. Um, yeah, I was asked by one of the hosts that uh, he wanted to go with the Nexus 9's colors, uh, which is purple and green and black, um, at least from what I've seen. Uh, yeah, this beginning spray, it's very purple. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> a little closer to the Joker than I am the Nexus 9's. Um, Especially when I get the green going here when it's coming up, but uh, you know, I wanted to wanted to try to try to mimic the new Sump City Radio Shack, um, give them a new color, a new look. They have a lot of this green and purple all over their posters and stuff, which you'll see a little later. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna paint the base of the shack the green. Once again, this is thalo green, the yellow, the yellow shade, not the blue shade. I am going to be using the blue shade later, um, but yeah, this is all just prepping block colors. Oils are up next after I varnish these puppies and maybe do a little touch up. So I'll let you guys keep watching. And when we get to the next detail or the first of the real detailing steps, um, I will uh, come back. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so now we're getting on to the first of the real detailing steps. Um, I figured out that I really like the way this looks before we do the oil wash. Um, just a few posters. Um, they look, at this point, they, I don't know how to say it. They look like they were up there before because I'll be doing newer posters and newer graffiti um, towards the end of the, the whole thing just to kind of cap everything off. So basically, um, yeah, I've got, uh, let's see here, under Iver, under Iver Art. Um, we have... It looks like we have, that's a Gilders Ford picture, poster I'm putting up right there, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, I, basically what I do, I found this glow in the dark uh, Mod Podge and I water it down, get the sign wet, um, you know, cause it, I just print them off for my printer and uh, cause they're just paper. And then you, you know, coat down and then coat over, make sure it's up. Um, now, when I do the wall, the wall is going to be um, a little bit different uh, oil uh, application. Um, it's basically going to be dripping all over the place. That's the idea. I'm going to start from the top and go down with different colors and different splotches of stuff. Real thin down oil washes. Um, and it'll get all over this stuff. Um, now, of course, yeah, there's the sign poster I've got and I managed to find an actual Sump City Radio poster um, that I can throw up there which turned out to be really you know turns out good and my next step here is we're gonna start doing the base graffiti um, yeah I you know I keep working I still don't think I'm very good at this, um, mainly because I, you know, I don't know. I'm not very confident in this space. But um, so what, what what I've found is a good way of doing this is you take a uh, either a white or an, I like off white because the, uh, the coating over it. Oh, there's a little camera work. Yeah, that's a pro move right there. Um, yeah, the uh, the, flore the fluorescent colors I'm going to be going over these seem to turn out better over off-white for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but um, I suppose I could go along the lines and maybe do a white highlight in the center to maybe bring it out, but that might be just a little bit too much. Um, these uh, these little symbols I'm putting up, except for of course the SCR, um, you know, that's some city radio. But the other ones are my um, some of my gangs. Ram is the uh, Goliath Red Ass Monkeys. Uh, SW is the Sump Whispers. That's my Delac gang. Uh, PCS is my Escher gang, the Pod City Sisters. And of course I'm gonna write Heretic here. And of course as you're doing this. You're always making sure that you might actually be spelling this correctly. Um, another one that I always like doing are the eyeballs. Um, and I really need to practice this. Um, you know, I, I <laughs> thank God this is supposed to be an urban, you know, bashed up setting here. <laughs> Sloppy and, and crap looking is actually good, but uh, you know, if it wasn't for that, I'd probably not not, uh, not not do very well. But I like the way these look. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be going all over all of this with washes. And then we're going to be putting some fresh ones on. And I might go over those with, with different washes. Um, you can, uh, the way I do this and the way you're going to see it, you can do this kind of stuff and layer it and layer it and layer it as much as you want. Um, I didn't do very much graffiti on the actual, uh, stuff that I glued up yet. I'm kind of working on the wall right away here, but you know, it, it, everybody can do this differently and it looks fine. I, um, 
I'm getting more confident. Like I said, I still don't think I really do know what I'm doing yet, but um, you know, just keep working at it. You know, don't let it stop you. These are golden high flow um, fluorescence, by the way. Um, I have others that you know I'll I'll end up using on stuff later. Um, purples and different greens and chartreuses and things like that but for this little step but for this video I wanted to just make sure that I got you know I did something that I could absolutely do on camera without missing messing up too badly anyways okay so uh, once we get the neon green down here we're going to use um, a black highlight uh, ink pen um, made specifically for um, well it's 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 got a chisel tip and it's got a fine tip on both sides and uh, I I, uh, I have found it works the best for doing any kind of uh, highlighting or coloring in of, of different areas with black um, it goes on way more even than the paint or than the paint the paint brushes do. I think my daughter took my other one the last time that I did this on the uh, the pit. So yeah, at this point, and you know, once again, it's all entirely up to you. I'm trying something a little bit differently on this one instead of highlighting the whole thing and then bubbling it in black. Um, we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, dark lining on a couple of facets of the letters. Turns out it looks pretty good, <laughs> which is a surprise to me. Um, but anyways, uh, getting back to what I stopped talking about earlier. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I, I, I don't know if you figured it out yet, but I absolutely love doing this. Um, finding out new things, new ways. So uh, feel free uh, to comment. Um, I'm definitely not shy. Um, even if you don't like what I'm doing, you know, it, it's fine. You know, I don't, I don't care. Um, you know, I've been a, been a big boy for quite some time now. And, uh, you know, I can take criticism and, and anything else. And, you know, if you have ideas or requests or any of that stuff, or, you know, Right now, I'm just, you know, keep hammering away on stuff, and it's not really a plan. I mean, there is a plan, but there's not really a plan. You know, I kind of say, well, hey, I'm gonna do this, and then, you know, just rip it, you know. Um, whatever ends up, ends up, you know. Um, if you want me to film some of the stuff that I failed at, I can, I can totally do that, that's fine. It's way more than the successes. <laughs> But with every failure is a success because you learn something. That's how I always like looking at it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish, or uh, I'm gonna let you finish watching this part, and then I'll uh, come back at the end.
here we go. Um, pretty happy with how this is looking out right here. Um, I got some good looking poster work. Um, my new little, little uh, arounds on the, uh, using the black line on the graffiti. Looks good. Eyeballs look good. Um, you know, I got some decent paint leakage on some of these pieces that I really like, that eyeball in particular. Um, yeah, so anyways, thanks so much, you guys. Um, have a uh, great night.